Team USA press conference has revealed the truth between what happened between Patrick Cantley, Xander Chauflé, and the PGA of America. And I wasn't expecting to say this. On the eve of the Ryder Cup, these two players could potentially not even have played. Yes, you heard me right. Now, because we've seen so much of this, I mean, we saw the jokes of Patrick Cantley, everybody holding their hats up in the air. But let's get to the bottom of this story because there is more to this than meets the eye. Now, welcome back to a brand new video here on Back Nine Films. This is your home of breaking news in the golf industry. So be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell. That way I can keep you up to date with all the hot gossip, all what's going on just by hitting that bell. Now, this report all comes from the Times and quotes Xander Chauflet's father and coach. And they suggest that the PJ of America have sort of smeared Chauflet and Cantley because they asked for the player benefit and participation agreement to be amended. Now, this is really interesting because we saw all the prep in the Ryder Cup. Xander and Cantley were some of the players who didn't attend the pre-meetup. Now, other person that was involved in that was Jordan Spieth, but that was simply because he was expecting another child. So, totally different category. Going into this further, Kershaw states that the point of contention was whether or not to grant access to Netflix cameras. So, from what we're hearing, Cantley and Xander didn't want Netflix to have any access. Now, I get it sometimes in these huge events, we sort of want to concentrate on what's going on. But at the end of the day, these players are paying for, well, <laughs> not this week, but in general, playing for huge sums of money, right? And revenue's got to come from somewhere. So I, I don't know how I feel about asking the players permission. You're part of the tour, you're part of playing for a lot of money. You want to play for more money. Surely the likes of me and you who will watch the Netflix series should be granted access. As far as I'm aware, actually, Team Europe did allow this. So going into this further, this is what was said. The PG of America were not willing to even talk to us about the agreements or the amendments to the agreements. This is what Xander Chauflet's father said. It was very late in the schedule, right before the team came here to Rome to participate because they had moved the deadline and they said, if you don't sign by then, you're off the team. But they never gave us a contact information of their legal consul. So very interesting, right? We had this agreement. They said, if you don't sign it by this date, you're off the team. Like, seriously, imagine kicking off those two players. I mean, even after the Saturday, right? Crucial points they both managed to get and very, very big time players. Furthermore, Saturday morning of Labor Day, the weekend, 2nd of September, finally the head of the PJ of America got wind of this because it was not him that was blocking it and put our lawyers in contact with the PJ of America's general counsel. And then it took a few hours to hash it out and it was fine. Then I received a message that Xander was back on that you can quote, that's the extent of this and I think it's shameful. Now, what do you think on that? So this whole agreement, whether to grant access, whether not to grant access, whether for a player to change their rights, do you look at this from a player's point of view and do you back a player? Or do you say what I was just saying there and say, well, I know you're not getting paid this week, but it goes into this whole thing of generating more money from advertising, from, from Netflix, because they will pay the PJ of America a huge sum of money to allow Netflix to be there and the PGA Tour. And this all has to come into boosting the fun for the players to play in. Now, I know not this week, but maybe this is where the rumors that Cantley and Xander wanted paying to play in the Ryder Cup. Maybe this was about the fact that if Netflix are there, we want paying. How do you stand on that? Because we got some more on this. He said that this dispute could have been settled if all proceeds and net proceeds were donated to charity. Right now, the American players are asked to donate their pro bono in the name of patriotism so organizations can benefit from the profits. The PGA of America use the money and the PGA Tour gets 20% that goes into the retirement of every member. The 12 players supposedly need to eat it 
and their intellectual property gets abused for the t benefit of 200 other people. That's not right. So that's the view of Xander's father and coach. So let's just sort of give you a summary there. The players have to sort of eat the cost of the week. They have to donate that to a charity. The PG of America get a percentage of that. And this goes into creating a fund in terms of retirement fund for players. Is that fair that 12 pay for 200? Well, the one thing that I would say is it's probably something that goes on every single week. Now, I don't know. We need to know more on this, but it's very, very interesting press conference, a very, very interesting story in the Times newspaper, all about the fact of the dispute and the rift between Xander, Patrick Cantley, and the rest of the team. Something was definitely going on, one with the hats, two with the Netflix rumours, three with the pay rumours, and the fact that Team USA didn't really look at the races. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn the bell.